So I had a strategy call the other day with a woman who was sharing her experience with me. Um, and I just wanted to share this. It's really important message for wounded healers while they're creating. So I had a strategy call the other day with a woman who was sharing her experience with me. Um, and I just wanted to share this. It's really important message for wounded healers while they're creating their coaching program. And just a really important message that I wanted to share. Uh, she revealed to me on strategy call that her previous coach told her she wouldn't really be able to sell or make any money if she were to create a program that was centered around helping women heal from domestic abuse. Um, and so this was part of her own healing journey, as well as healing from a narcissistic relationship. And she was told by her coach that it wouldn't be profitable. Uh, so she pivoted and focused more on uh, healing from a narcissistic relationship. But what it left her in was a state of confusion. And so I wanted to talk about this because this really is not how you go about building a purpose driven business. And this is the difference between building a purpose driven business and just some old, any old business, some profit driven business, right? This is a mission driven business that you're building. This is part of why your soul came here and incarnated here on this earth, right? And this is really important to understand that there is a time and place in your business to focus on your lifestyle goals and profit, right? Revenue, generating revenue for your business is very important in order for you to sustain your business. And trust me, I, I wish there were more wounded healers and light workers that were more motivated by money because money is a very important resource in your business that allows you to sustain your mission work. And there's a huge, you know, block to receiving for a lot of light workers and healers. So there's definitely a time and place to be, you know, open to receiving money and open to receiving abundance for your business. But it's not the time and place to be focused on profit when you're in the creation process, when you're in the creation mode. The creation mode of your program needs to come from within. It's your soul's calling. It's part of your mission. And it's part of why you went through the trials and tribulations that you went through to begin with, right? As a wounded healer, you go through so much of your own journey, learning everything that you learn on how to heal on a spiritual level and go within and come into more alignment with who you truly are. And once the student is ready, the teacher appears, right? And even though we're a student for life on this path, the teacher appears because there, you are ready to be a catalyst for growth in other people's life. And the wisdom and the experience that you gain through those experiences is part of your gift. This is again where your wound is your gift. It was your gift when you were healing from it. And now it's your gift when you're giving back and you're stepping into divine service. And to discount any part of your healing path because you don't think it's going to be profitable or it might not make as much sense or you don't think it's going to be as easy or you don't think someone's going to pay you for it is getting in your head and you're trying to conceptualize, you know, on the mental level, what you think is going to make sense versus allowing yourself to receive the program. You receive the guidance for your program. You receive the program. You download your program. Your program is revealed to you. And so that is a soul aligned program. If you're stuck trying to figure out what's going to make you money or what's going to be the, you know, the easiest for someone to pay you on, then that is the opposite of building a mission driven, purpose driven business. In my humble opinion, it is the exact opposite and probably some of the worst advice you can give a wounded healer or light worker that's creating a program from scratch at that point and juncture in their experience. And then what happens as a byproduct of this, as a sort of like a spin-off, is that you become very confused on what you're here to do. Nothing feels in alignment. Everything feels off. 
Uh, you don't know your next steps. And then what happens is you start grasping at things. You start, well, maybe I'll do this because this makes sense. Or maybe I'll do that because it could make me money. Or maybe I'll do this because someone else is really successful doing it. And so then you start grasping for straws and it's going to feel like you're grasping. It's going to feel like you're reaching outside of yourself to try to solve something. It's going to feel like you are, uh, you know, looking or trying to figure something out but it's going to leave you stuck, frustrated, confused, and in a state of the opposite of clarity. And why is that? It's because you are allowing the personality ego self to drive the train instead of the soul. And it doesn't work that way. You can't build a mission-driven, purpose-driven business if your personality and ego is driving the train. I've mentioned this in other videos. Your personality and ego self and all the needs and wants of the personality have to take a backseat to what the soul is being called to create. This doesn't mean you forego your, your lifestyle goals. This doesn't mean you forego your income goals. In fact, you will be in complete alignment to make your lifestyle goals and to hit your lifestyle goals and your income goals. Why? Because a soul aligned business is mutually beneficial. It can be no other way. It's mutually beneficial for you. It supports you in your desires and your um, lifestyle goals and your mission and it supports your client. And there is a price point that's going to be perfect for you and your client. And there's a model, a way to build it that's gonna be perfect for you and your client. And it's gonna be a mutually beneficial exchange. It's going to be reciprocity. And so this is the outcome of building a soul aligned business. When you don't build it this way and you build it from more of the personality or the ego in charge, chasing the carrot, trying to figure out from a conceptual level what's gonna make money or what's gonna be sellable or what's gonna do this or that for you, and you're discounting or disregarding or not going into your heart center and your soul to really check in with what's want being called to be created, then you're opening up a big can of worms for yourself which is only gonna lead you to feeling overwhelmed and burned out and not have a program that's a magnetic match to your clients and it's not gonna be a magnetic match to your lifestyle goals and it's gonna feel like an uphill battle. Why? Because this is your soul path, this is your soul mission. You can't allow the ego to get involved when you're creating your soul program. I do believe in reverse engineering your lifestyle goals and making sure that you do have, you know, a structure in place that obviously allows you to hit your lifestyle goals and your income goals. You can reverse engineer that um, part and bring, you know, structure to the equation because your, your spiritual business does need a 3D structure that supports you, right? It does need a 3D structure that supports you and your lifestyle goals and your mission. But the actual content that you're here to create, the wisdom that's here to be channeled through you, the messages that need to come through you, the stories that need to be shared, the this is part of the process that you cannot manipulate from the ego. This is the part where you trust, you allow, you receive, and you take action on. And you create from that place. You create from divinity. You create from divine knowledge. You create from source, you create from your soul, you create from your guidance system. And then everything else unfolds and you make sure everything else that's unfolding is also in alignment with the least amount of ego involved. Of course, we all have an ego and we need an ego here to survive to some degree, right? So you're still gonna have ego desires. You're still gonna have ego at play in your business but it's going to be taking a back seat to your higher self for sure, especially in the creation process. And so you can't reverse engineer the program that you're gonna offer based on what you think makes sense, based on what someone else is telling you is really good feedback, based on what you think is gonna sell, based on what someone else is doing that looks successful, not gonna work. It's not gonna work um, and this is really the difference between building a truly purpose-driven soul aligned mission driven business and just building a business for profit and you know what with the path that you're on you will not be successful at the other one at the other route it will be selling out of your soul if you were just here to build a business that was out for profit you'd be selling out your soul and your soul would not allow that to come to fruition in the way that you want 
And so the reason for this is because you would be more in service to self than you are in service to others. And so that's a whole nother video as well. But I just wanted to drop this message in there today because I think it's really, really important for the light workers and the wounded healers that are just starting their business or they're looking to restructure or they're looking for a step-by-step -step process or they're, they're figuring out what it is they're here to create, what they're being called to do. And they're getting lots of mixed messages and lots of um, mixed advice. My uh, takeaway for this for you would be to go inward and connect with your heart and connect with your soul and recognize that you are being divinely guided and you need to trust that wisdom that you're receiving. You came here and incarnated in this planet, on, on planet earth right now in this lifetime to do this. And your soul, your higher self, your God, you, you, the universe, all it is, you know, when you decided to do this, I just saw 11, noticed 11, 11 on my timer. Um, when you decided to do this, you didn't say, okay, I'm going to go forth and I'm going to learn all these lessons and I'm going to go through all these trials and tribulations and I'm going to heal spiritually from the inside out. And then I'm going to help others to do the same. And, and the, the very things that used to be, uh, you know, my detriment, you know, the kryptonite that brought me down is now going to be part of the gold that I bring to the world, right? This is true alchemy. This is spinning your pain into purpose. And you didn't say you were going to come forward and do that, but only if it makes logical sense because this is what other people are doing on Instagram or because this is how I'm going to profit from it. That's not what you agreed to on a soul level. And if you sell out to that concept, then you're going to pay the price when it comes to your creation, uh, the program that you create, the clients that you attract and everything else that's a byproduct of misalignment. And so I just wanted to share this with you today. I'm not sure who needs to hear it, but it was a really important message that I felt the urge to share, especially if you're new, just starting out. This is really, really important to trust your guidance, to trust your intuition, to trust what you're being called to create, and that everything that you've went through up until this point has served a high, high, high purpose. And it's not to be discounted or, or, or um, put to the side or dismissed or anything because of what the mind thinks is going to sell or going to make sense. That's working on the conceptual level again in the, in, in the mental body and stuck in duality, which is not where your soul is. Your soul is in the present moment. It, your soul is awareness, it is consciousness. And so my advice to you would be to connect to that part of you and create from that place. So I hope this finds you well. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in uh, the comment section below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if you are at that place where you're looking to build a soul aligned mission driven business that supports you on your mission and your lifestyle goals with a step-by-step -step process that keeps you in alignment the entire time, keeps you checking in with yourself, a very intuitive build style that is not constrictive and not rigid and is very go with the flow and allows you to get your message out there and share your gift with the world in a way that really honors what it is you're feeling called to create then I welcome you to take the Soul Aligned Success Masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if that video resonates with you, then you'll have the opportunity to hop on a 60 minute strategy session with me, where I spend a whole hour with you diving deep into your business to help you identify the gaps between where you're at and where you wanna go. And yeah, take advantage of that. But I would like it if you watch the masterclass first to make sure it resonates with you. Because again, I'm here to help you build a soul aligned business. And so that has to resonate with you. And if it does, then I'm confident I can deliver high value to you on this strategy session. So I hope this video finds you well. And until the next episode, namaste.